Tonight, more accusations against Sean Diddy Combs and now one of his sons. A new 31-page lawsuit filed on Thursday details a trip in 2022 where the plaintiff alleges she was working as a stewardess aboard a yacht owned by Combs when his son, Christian, drugged and sexually assaulted her. The lawsuit alleges that an audio recording made during the night in question is evidence of the woman denying his advances as he gropes her. The plaintiff's lawyer provided those clips to NBC News. In one recording, a woman believed to be the alleged victim is heard saying, Excuse me, you don't touch my Please legs like that. I'll move my legs the way I want to. Uh, if I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. Soon after, according to the lawsuit, Christian speaks and tries to get her to stay. Who can I talk to? I'm going to say you. Requ I requested you right now. Well, you can take your hand off my for the first thing. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim then left the recording studio and attempted to resume her stewardess duties. But the suit alleges Christian found her again, this time asking her to find him a place to sleep. She claims she showed him to a cinema area, but instead of resting, she alleges in the suit that he became violent and wouldn't let her leave. He groped her, the lawsuit claims, took his clothes off, grabbed her arms, and tried to force her to perform oral sex on him. The woman claims she fought him off until someone else walked in. The lawsuit includes photos of a bruised forearm, allegedly the victim's. As for Christian's famous father, the suit claims he turned what was sold as a wholesome family excursion on his yacht into a hedonistic environment where employees were exposed without their consent to unlawful drug use, sex work, and general chaos. Representatives for Christian and Sean Combs did not respond to NBC's request for comment. It comes amid a wave of legal troubles for the rap mogul, who had two of his homes raided last month and is facing multiple sexual assault and sex trafficking lawsuits, allegations he has denied and so far has not been criminally charged. Legal experts say prosecutors could use the claims in the new lawsuit to build a broader case. There is a statute under federal law called RICO, the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. It allows prosecutors to really connect those dots between the various criminal acts, such as the sex trafficking, such as forced labor, such as all of those allegations that we have read, which if proven, would constitute together a larger criminal enterprise. Okay, with that, Ellison Barber joins us now in studio. Ellison, great to see you. So this is not the first lawsuit we've seen where other people are named, but has anyone been criminally charged yet? So related to all of this legal activity, so far there has only been one known arrest, and it was for a 25-year-old associate of Diddy's. And interestingly, he wasn't charged with anything related to uh, sexual harassment, sexual assault, or sex crimes. It was a charge related to possession of cocaine. And Diddy's lawyers have pointed to that in the past to say, look, Diddy has not been arrested or criminally charged. In fact, after that raid uh, happened on two of his homes, they released a statement calling that raid an overuse of what they described as military-level force and also saying, we want to remind people in all of these criminal and or civil different allegations that have come forward, Diddy has never been arrested or charged. And that is true still at this point. But from the legal experts we've spoken to, they say that could change. And sometimes prosecutors are waiting to build an even bigger case, not just against one person, but maybe multiple. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.